The Awakening presents Going Deeper with Ben Cerullo, a conversation designed to help believers live victoriously through God's Word. Here's our host, Ben Cerullo. This is The Awakening, so this is Jacques Thomas. I call him the Bishop, and I'm Ben Cerullo, and uh, we're just going to break it down today and dive a little bit deeper into this. And, uh, you know, it's good to have fun. It's serving Jesus is a good time. We've seen some things around the world, and... uh, we have, man. I think we, we've, I was thinking about that last night. Uh, the one thing that, you know, what is it, 27 nations of the world yeah. and, and more to come. Yeah. <laughs> and lots of those multiple times. That's exactly uh, right. But we've seen some things. Yeah. We've seen God do miraculous things. Yeah. And uh, I'm appreciative of, of you giving me the opportunity to be a part of this ministry and to be out, uh, to go with you and to serve and to, to have the opportunity to um, just be a part of it, man. Yeah, well, just man. to be a part of it. Well, I appreciate you because I couldn't do what we do without you. I mean, yeah. No, I appreciate it, man. I, you've always got my back and I've always. got yours. And yes, man, we've, we've been through some battles. Yes, we have. We've been together since before Jesus, so <laughs> we have stories on the, the BC side. That's exactly so, uh, right. That's exactly thank God right. for Jesus. Yes, yes thank God Speaking for Jesus. Speaking of that, you know, that's what we're talking about today, his name. Mm. Victory mm-hmm. in the name of Jesus. Yeah. And uh, it's so important that we really understand what his name really means, mm-hmm. the power that's in his name. And what it gives us access and the ability to do to walk yeah. in, because victory is provided for us in Jesus' name, That's exactly not right. defeat. I think it's hard sometimes because we live defeated a lot of mm-hmm. times as Christians. We walk through battles, we go through hard times, and yeah. and sometimes it it feels like, and sometimes we do get defeated. But the truth is that God has not planned any, not one defeat for us. Mm-mm. And you know, uh, just to be able to stop for a moment and and really think about that, you know, it's. As we're working on this uh, this school, you know, it's something yeah. I've been involved writing about this week. Is just yeah. God hasn't planned any defeats for us. No. So you know, we we experience it, but that's not part of His plan for that's us. Exactly right. And I think I love that when you said said that. You know, it's a great setup, as I would say. But uh, it's what your grandfather says. You know, we're fighting from a place of victory. Yeah. You know, and I think if we can really understand that, when we accepted Christ, we yeah. accepted His victorious triumph. Right. It's you know? a different mindset. It is. It yeah. is. You know, everything that he defeated, yeah. everything is now submitted under to the name of Jesus. Right. We have now been, um, you know, engrafted or right. been part of that. Now I'm in Jesus. Yeah. I'm in the name of Jesus, you know, and yeah. so now I have authority. Now I can use his name, yeah. you know, and uh, if we could begin as a culture of, of believers to begin to get back to that. Yeah. We would see the world upside down again, like the book of Acts. That's that's what's up right there. That's what's up. You know, I think it's, uh, I think it's over here in uh, the book of Philippians. Mm -hmm. Let me find my spot over here real quick. Talking about that he has been given the name that is above every other name. Yes. Here it is. Philippians 2, starting in... uh, Starting in verse 9 here, I'll mm-hmm. pick up reading. Therefore, God has highly exalted him. I'll back up. I'll read it okay. from where it begins. All Philippians right. 2, starting in verse 5, it says, Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who, being in the form of God, did not consider it robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation, taking on the form of a bondservant and coming in the likeness of men. And being found in the appearance as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even the death of the cross. Mm. You know, through that obedience, and it goes on to say that, therefore God has highly exalted him and given him the name which is above every other name, that at the name of Jesus every knee would bow, of those in heaven and those on the earth and even those under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. (laughs) That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. When you begin to take that and you begin to take that one nugget there therefore God has also highly exalted him and given him the name yeah which is above every name yeah you know so in the blog you know you make mention of even sickness whatever it is yeah. cancer um, you know yeah. leukemia whatever it is yeah pain suffering so, depression yeah. poverty you whatever know. he is the name above all names yeah. everything bows down to him yeah so if the doctor tells you you have cancer or you have a, a sickness or, yes. or you have this 
syndrome or scenario. Mm -hmm. You know, don't accept that as your reality. You don't live in this make-believe world that you pretend it's really not there. You got to realize that the name of Jesus is yes. higher than that name. So that thing trying to attack you, that the enemy is trying to place in your life to defeat you, yes. Jesus said, I gave you my name so that you would be far above it. So yes. check this out in Ephesians. It made me think of it when we were reading the, the uh, scripture in Philippians. Uh -huh. um, it's talking here in the first chapter about uh, the power of God that is working in us okay. is the same power which he worked in Christ mm. when he raised him from the dead and seated him at his right hand mm. in heavenly places. So listen, the Bible says that he is far above mm. all principalities and powers, might and dominion, every name that is named, not only in this age, but in the age which is to come. <laughs> and then it says he has put all things under his feet and he gave him to be the head over all things to the church, which is his body the fullness of him who fills all in all. Mm. So he is the head over all things. Wow. And he's given us to be the fullness of himself, of Christ, of the church. We are the church. Mm. And you can't go to something that lives inside you. You know, yeah. you fellowship on Sundays, but you don't go to church because going to church is not theologically possible. You are the mm -hmm. church. So we are the church. And we are the fullness of not the partiality, not just a little bit, but we are the fullness of him who fills all in all. Yeah. It's uh, all in Jesus. <laughs> that's always... why Paul said, I, I claim to know nothing except Christ and him crucified, because that's all I need. That's all I need to know. And, that's, and I think if we can get ourselves to that place, that's yeah. all I really need to know. Yeah. You know, it's the name of Jesus. Yeah. You know, it's to, but to know that name is to know the intimate relationship. Right. You know, it's a lot different of people, than the theory. It's exactly that's right. It's easy to hear about. Yep. You know, a lot of people. You know, I, I, you know, as we go around town, the country, or different places we we are in, and sometimes I'm out with the family. People say, "Oh well, yeah, I know Jesus," and I'll say, "Yeah, you know the name, right? You can know my name, like the seven sons of Sceva." It's exactly right. But you don't know me. You yeah. don't have an intimate relationship. We're we're not in that covenant agreement with one another. Yeah. So. To, to really know the name of Jesus yeah. is to understand the revelation. Right. <laughs> of and who that's he what really he is. wants to do. Yeah. That's exactly right. To open our eyes. And, you know, Jesus said, because we go through stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of times we have this misconception, you know, you get saved. All you got to do is come to this altar. And, yeah. you know, guess what? That's when all hell breaks loose. It and does. so we've got to realize when Jesus said, in this world you will have trouble. You'll have tribulations and trials. Mm -hmm. But... Don't let that get you down. He said, be of good cheer. Yes. Get excited about it. I've overcome the world. Yep. And we didn't. We don't have to do it. Jesus mm -hmm. already did it. That's exactly and right. Now, you know, I love... Let me skip over here. I'm going to start preaching. <laughs> dropping stuff. Getting all excited. What are you looking at? I'm looking in John chapter 16. Okay, okay. Y you know, Jesus is talking about going back to the Father. His assignment is almost over. Mm. And he's, he's encouraging his disciples, and he says, Therefore, starting in 16, verse 22, Therefore you now have sorrow, but, you will, but I will see you again, and your heart will rejoice, and your joy no one will take from you. And in that day, ask me nothing. Most assuredly, I say to you, you ask the Father in my name, and mm. he'll give it to you. Mm. Until now, you've asked nothing in my name. <sighs> Ask and you will receive that your joy may be full. Mm. So Jesus is getting ready to go back. His assignment's almost over. Mm -hmm. He says that in that day, in that day, you've got to realize that we are in that day. Yes, yes. Ask me nothing. So we've got to understand the order to God. And Jesus is saying, you don't need to pray to me. I'm going to give you my name. You've never asked anything before in my name, but I'm getting ready to go home, and I'm going to leave you my name. And when I give you my name, you don't have to come ask me. You have direct access to my Father, just like I did. Mm -hmm. And when you ask in my name, heaven is going to move. The earth is going to come into submission to my rulership. So we live in that day. Ask yes. me nothing. Ask my Father in my name, and he will give it to you. And so we've got to realize the power and the ability. And, and you know, when you break down the word... Uh, the name Jesus yeah. It's actually the uh, Hebrew word Yeshua, mm -hmm. you know, that's the original. And, and you know, it, it's, it's a compound word. Uh, the beginning of that is uh, Yeho, and that, that's an element for the personal name of God. And Shua 
It's a noun. It means a cry for help or a saving cry. So when you put the two together, you literally get God is a saving cry. So when you declare Jesus' name, it's a cry for deliverance, a cry for help. God is my deliverer. Mm -hmm. And you're declaring that and you're decreeing that to the enemy. No matter what's going on, you say in the name of, that's Jesus. maybe all you can get out. That's it. Jesus. That's all you got to say <laughs> because it says it all. And, yeah. and the enemy knows when you really understand that. When you, Because I've been through hell. I've been through situations. I've been in emergency rooms. I've mm -hmm. been in places where I feel like I'm going to die, where people are coming to threaten our lives. Yeah. And you got to really just rest and just say, in the name of Jesus. Jesus. And recognize it's not in you. The power is in his name. Right. And that, that's the key. The power is in his name. Yeah. And you got to have faith yeah. in the name. Right. You know, not just, I got the name. Yeah. No, do you have faith in the name right. to believe that that name turns the lock? Yeah. <laughs> to release and lock an open door. You know what yeah. I mean? Whatever it is, it's the name. It's to yeah. have the faith in the name right. of Jesus. Because that was, uh, let's go back to the sons of Jesus. Yeah. You know what I mean? You know, Jesus, I know. For all I know, but yeah. who are you? Yeah, you know, and the devil whooped him, <laughs> beat him up. But if you have, the, if when you, it's when you know the name, yeah, and you're intimate, right, and you understand, and you have that faith in the name of yeah. Jesus, it's when you begin to see things uh, move. Yeah. Well, my, I man, my pastor, uh, he told me this story. It's crazy. I'm going to just share it right yeah. now. He was. Uh, had been ministering to this man, and he gets a phone call in the middle of the night. The man had um, some demonic activity in yeah. his life, and uh, he needed help. It was about, I don't know, the middle of the night. And uh, so he called one of his friends and said, hey, would you come with me? So they pull up to this house. They see some candles burning, all the lights out. The front door is wide open. You know, heavy metal music mm -hmm. is blaring out, and this figure is running back and forth. So... Uh, he's like, I'm going to get the lights. You turn the music off. <laughs> they get in there. So my pastor walked in, and uh, the man, you know, was stripped completely naked, was bleeding all over, had been cutting himself, and um, he was fully, uh, he, he was demonized. He needed mm -hmm. deliverance. And so uh, my pastor had, you know, kind of cornered him in the kitchen, and yeah. um, and this guy grabs a knife, and he comes and runs at him to, to stab him with this knife. And wow. he's wrestling. Knife gets stuck in the wall, runs back, grabs a big knife. He's coming at him, and he says, God, I can't do this. I'm going to die. So he just stood there and just said, in the name of Jesus. And the guy went to stab him, and the knife stopped right in front of him. He couldn't stab him. You know, and they got the man delivered. But there's power. And, yes, it is. And it's when he realized, it, it, I can't do this, can't but do you can do all things. Exactly. And so when you stand, you got to know it. you got to know Otherwise, it. that knife's going right through <laughs> that's you. That's exactly it. Yeah. But you but you got to know it. And that's the part that I always get back to is to know the name yeah. and to have that relationship and to believe by faith. Because in his situation, he says, I can't do this. Yeah. This, yeah. It's not in my strength. Yeah. I need the strength right. of the Holy One. You yeah. know, I need I need your strength, Lord. And he called the name of Jesus yeah. instantly. Yeah. And I think that's the key. Um, he had a relationship. Yeah. So he knew what to call on right. to make the difference. I remember um, down in Peru when we had our first crusade. And during that crusade, uh, I think it was the second or third night. I can't remember. But you had everyone say, Jesus. Yeah. And the, I mean, the room was just loud. Yeah. And it was that same night when the lady walked up on stage and her baby leaped. Yeah. That, that was like, yeah. okay, that was the eye opener. Yeah, her baby, you know, she, she didn't even know about the crusade. She gets nope. in the taxi cab. She's crying. The taxi driver says, what's wrong, ma'am? She said, you know, I just came from the doctor, and they said my baby's dead, and mm -hmm. I need to come back to get a DNC, yeah. have the baby removed. And he said, well, I see these billboards all over town about this crusade. Mm -hmm. You want me to take, I don't even know if she was there for the message. She, <laughs> yeah. She, he drove her there. She came in, and yeah, when I saw, you know, people always say, how do you know miracles are real? When I look in the eyes of a mother That's who exactly just right. encountered and yeah. sees, feels her baby jumping yeah. and leaping when yeah. we call on the name of Jesus. Jesus. Yeah, and then, that's how you know it's real. That's how you know it's real. And I think that's the one thing, you know, how, you know, go to the book of Acts again. Here we yeah. go. You know, they turned the world upside down. Yeah. Yes, it was the preaching of the gospel. It was preaching of the gospel in the name of Jesus. Yeah. That yeah, turns this the world Jesus upside. who you saw crucified is alive. <laughs> you know? And preach no more in his name. It's exactly right. The most controversial. Why do you think that the name of Jesus brings more drama, more controversy, more issues than any? You can say Buddha. You could say Muhammad. Anything. 
it doesn't do anything. You say Jesus, mm -hmm. everybody's all on edge, offended. It's exactly. They right. want to shut it down, but his name, it's because it's there's power in it. There's power. a spiritual dynamic it, it that manifests even to people who don't know him, this warfare, this battle yeah. that's going on. And uh, that's why we've got to stand, represent it. That's why the Jews wanted to silence the name, the preaching. Mm -hmm. They didn't care that they were preaching. They cared they were preaching in the name of Jesus. <laughs> that's exactly right. Don't pr we're going to beat you and don't use that <laughs> name anymore. That's exactly it. It's the name of Jesus because they knew it had power. They yeah. saw the results. They saw people being healed, uh, delivered, and set free. Yeah. They saw salvation. Yeah. You know, they are waiting for this Messiah to come yeah. down and publicly and politically yeah. to rescue them, to redeem them, you know. But no, here he comes down humble as a servant. Right. But it's his name yeah. that really begins to change and calls history to change. Yeah. And, and we can get back to the place of understanding, use the name of Jesus. Yeah. No matter what you're facing, no matter what you're going through, it is the name of Jesus that is going to bring you through it. And I think if we can begin to teach it more, yeah, I understand the message of salvation. Yeah, It is there. Right. It is the gospel. But when you grab hold of the salvation and look at the name. Yeah, well, it's going deeper into <laughs> exactly God's right. word because we've kind of failed in this culture of being politically mm -hmm. correct. and. And trying so hard, like we feel like we need to reach people, we've yeah. changed the message to this surface level, seeker sensitive message, and we haven't taught people. I was at this old church and uh, they were singing songs about the blood, and yeah. uh, an old, good old voice said, oh, Give me some good old blood songs. <laughs> and we don't sing that. We, no. we don't sing those good old blood yes. songs. Those, those things that take us back to the foundation mm -hmm. and the roots we're trying to skip over because we feel like we have to do it. we got to realize that when we speak in the name of Jesus, Jesus we're overseas. That's exactly right. We're standing there and people mm -hmm. are trying to kill us. Mm -hmm. Governments are trying to run us out of country. Yeah. They say, hey, you need to leave. It's not safe for you here. we got to not just know about this nice, seeker-sensitive message. we got to stand in front of people who go to the witch doctor. That's the exactly witch doctors right. are there. They're trying They're to curse here. you. They have real power. Oh. Things manifest. Yeah. You got to know that like, this Jesus, Jesus. man, I'm yeah. not going to get, you don't need a surface light. You need to know no. the, the God name. of the Bible <laughs> who's able to split the Red Sea, yeah. tear the mountains down. Come on. And it's only done when you can stand and look the enemy in the face and say, in the name of Jesus. Jesus. In the name you of gotta Jesus. You got to move. That's exactly right. And I think the key is we have so many people we've made converts. Yeah. But he says, you will know my disciples. Yeah, disciples. <laughs> <laughs> disciples, you will know them. Yeah. Why? Because they know my name. Yeah. They use my name. Yeah. You know, and it's using the name of Jesus and knowing him. It's, it, then it, it takes away everything. Yeah. You know, you, you preached a message not too far along back about the name of Jesus. Yeah. And uh, I was sitting there listening to it and I was like, man, it's when I go to the old churches yeah. or with the what I call the remnant group, yeah. that you hear that preaching. Yeah. And I know there's a lot of preaching out there about the name of Jesus, and, I, and, I, and I'm applauding those. And thank God they're there. But to the depth of it, what right. the name begins to do yeah. and what it begins to happen, that's what I loved about that preaching you was doing. Yeah. Well, because it's not just what he does for us through his name, because that is available to us, mm -hmm. but it's what he gives us access to do through his name, mm -hmm. that we were here to be able to carry on what he came to do. Yep. Just like, you know, I love when Jesus said, not Paul, not Peter, <laughs> not your pastor, but Jesus said, as my father sent me, that That's same it. way I'm sending That's you. That's exactly right. And I'm going to give you my name. Mm. So now you can go, you can conquer, you can walk in victory yep. in my name. Not fight for it, defend it. That's exactly right. Yeah. And we're, and we're from that place, defending victory. And it's, it's really good to know that when he says, I will, <laughs> my name is what you use. Yeah. At this point, you haven't used anything. Yeah. But my name from now on out, this day is my name is what you use. And I, I think that was the most, when you read Paul in Romans, um, he says, you know, I, you know, I bet it all. Yeah. Just to get back to that one intimate relationship, that one moment with Jesus. Yeah. You know, road of Damascus is Jesus saying, hey, Paul, it's me. But Paul had an intimate relationship. He finally saw him, and he was yeah. like, oh, okay. And out of that, we get all this gospel, the new gospel comes into place, and Paul is like, no, it's the longing to be back in that intimate relationship with Jesus. Yeah. Why? Because 
it is with him is where I get my wisdom. It's yeah. where I get breakthrough. It's where he tells me my grace is sufficient. Yeah. <laughs> I can make it. I can get through because he found that in Jesus. Yeah. In Jesus, everything. Yeah. Nothing else matters. Yeah. You know, I press towards that mark. Yeah. Nothing else matters because it is Jesus. Yeah. It is Jesus. And that's the one thing. Uh, as growing up a kid, my mother would tell me, son, they could take everything away from you, but they cannot take Jesus from you. Yeah. Nor his name. Yeah. And and I think if we can begin to hold on to that. Yeah. I don't have nothing else. I mean, I know the, the verse, but I got his name. Yeah. And that name is a weapon. Yeah. That it name is. is a weapon. It is. <laughs> you know, if you're watching us today, we're going to take time to pray for you in just a minute. But I want you to just hear what the Word says here in uh, the book of Mark, Mark? Okay. chapter 16 real quick. Because the Lord wants to use you. He wants you to walk in victory. He doesn't want you to live in defeat. He doesn't want you to struggle. doesn't mean you're not going to go through things. You know, we go through tough stuff, difficult things stuff that we feel like we just can't make it any further but we have his name mm -hmm. and we have the confidence to know that he's given us victory in his name mm -hmm. you know this is Jesus here as is one of the great commissions in the yes. scriptures and it's as he appears to his disciples after he had um, died and risen again the Bible says that he rebuked them for their unbelief and the hardness of their heart because they did not believe on those who had seen him after he had risen he, he commissions them. You know, he rebukes them. Hey, you didn't believe. I told you I was going to die and come mm -hmm. back. Mm -hmm. You didn't believe me. You didn't believe those who I sent, who saw me to you to, to tell you that I did rise again. But now he says to them, go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. And he who believes and is baptized will be saved, but he who does not believe will be condemned. And these signs will follow those who believe. <laughs> Do you believe? See, if we believe in Jesus, if we call ourselves a Christian, this is supposed to be us right here. Yeah. It says that these signs not will follow your pastor, not will follow the great men and women of God. They'll follow mm -hmm. you if you believe mm -hmm. in Jesus, if you claim to be a Christian. In my name, mm -hmm. they will cast out demons. They will speak with new tongues. They will take up serpents, and if they drink any deadly thing, it will uh, by no means hurt them. They will lay hands on the sick, and they will recover. How will they do these things? In my name, the scripture says. <laughs> then the Bible goes on to say that, so then after the Lord had spoken to them, he was received up into heaven. He sat down at the right hand of God. And they went out and preached everywhere. The Lord was working with them, confirming the word through the accompanying signs that followed. Mm -hmm. See, these, these are supposed to follow us. You know, we're not like rattlesnake churches, bust out the rattlesnakes and pass them around. That's not what it means when it says they, they'll take up serpents. They were talking about, man, there were serpents around in the day yeah. that they were, Paul got bit by a snake yeah. on the island when he was exactly. trying to start the fire. Yeah. He's saying, you're going to go through things in this world. It's not going to stop you. It's not going to phase you. Serpents, spiders, mm -hmm. the, the issues of life. You know, I've heard many great stories about missionaries having to drink water that was contaminated. They never got sick. That's what he's talking about when you'll take up serpents. If you drink any deadly thing, it will no, by no means hurt you. You'll lay hands on the sick. You'll, you'll speak with a new language. You'll cast out devils. How? In my name. name. Exactly. So I want you to know that God has given you the mm. name of his son. And he wants you to carry it. And he wants you to use it boldly. He wants you to, to get to know it. To get the revelation of it. He doesn't want you to leave the house stripped and naked like the seven sons of Sceva. Yeah. Who talked about this Jesus who they didn't know intimately. He wants you to take the time to get to know him. And then go use his name. Speak it. And watch Mountains will move. Sickness will bow its knee. Devils will come out of people. You'll walk and release freedom. That's God's plan for you. So let's just take a moment right now. Yes, we're going to use that name, his mm -hmm. name, the name that's above every name. And we're going to pray for some people uh, who are going through some stuff. And while we're doing this, just want to encourage you. There's some information here on the screen. It's going to tell you how you can send your prayer requests because you're not alone. We want to stand here with you to come into agreement with you. To let you know, sometimes it feels like you're alone, and that's what the enemy, he wants you to feel like that. He wants to isolate you so that he can bring you down. But you're not alone. We're here at the Awakening, at this ministry, to stand with you. We've got a whole entire prayer ministry with great men and women of God who are daily laying out. That's their job. They come in, and they pray. Right. Yep. And they're here to pray for you. And so let's let's check out some prayer requests. I find this interesting about the name of Jesus. This guy's name is Benjamin. He says, pray that God give me a financial blessing and a debt-free life. 
But he says, it's pray that God bless my evangelism work in Holland. Mm -hmm. Pray that God protect me against sin. Pray that God give me a double fresh anointing. Pray that God protect me against the evil and bad people. Pray that God give, guide me with his angels in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> Amen. But you know, that, and that's all, you know, that's what he's asking for. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I, I encourage Benjamin, you know, hey, look, go grab this blog. Yeah. Watch this video. Yeah. Because everything is right there. Yeah. Everything's yeah. right there. I mean, everything's right there. We have one here that says, I'd like you to pray that I find peace in my life and live according to God's plan for me. Mm. Now that, that mm. God wants you to live in peace. He doesn't want you to live in chaos. He doesn't want you to live in turmoil. He doesn't want you to live oppressed or depressed. He wants you to live in victory. And so if you're watching right now, there's no distance with God. We're going to take a moment to pray real quick before we uh, wrap up this blog. And I believe that even if you didn't get your prayer request in right now, that's okay because God can meet you at the point of your need right now in Jesus' name. In so Jesus you'll believe, name. we'll believe, and God's going to do what he does. So let's pray. Yes. Well, Father God, we just come before you today yes, in the precious Jesus. name of Jesus. Mighty God, we thank you for sending your son. Lord Jesus, we thank you for your obedience to the point of the death of the cross. Mm. And because of that obedience... Because of that sacrifice, now you have been given the name that is above every name, that every knee would bow and every tongue confess. And so right now we bring every name before you that is trying to trespass on your people. We bring cancer, heart disease, thyroid conditions, financial distress, oppression, depression. We bring these names that the enemy tries to place on your people, and we bring them to the blood of the Lamb right now. And we cover them. And we declare that in the name of Jesus, yes, those Lord things are Jesus. broken. We bind and rebuke those chains, those lies, yes, those Lord. works of the enemy right now in Jesus' name. And we declare in Jesus' name, yes, you are healed. Jesus. Be whole, be free, be delivered right now. Those who are watching right now, Father God, all over the world, let your hand of breakthrough touch yes, them. God. We declare you freedom. We declare the chains are broken over your life. God, I pray that you would loose your peace right now. Peace which passes all understanding. Mm. Let it anoint them. We say peace be unto you yeah. in Jesus', Jesus name. name. Hope be unto you in Jesus', Jesus name. name. Deliverance, freedom, healing be unto you in Jesus', Jesus name. name right now. Name we command a turnaround yes, in their circumstances Lord, at this moment right now in the name of Jesus. And Father God, we stop to give you all thanks and praise. We honor and acknowledge to you today that you are God Almighty and there's none beside you. We thank you today, thank Lord, you. not that the devil is subject to us in your name, but that our name is in your book, that yes, we are Lord. called by your name, that we are your children. So, God, we thank you today that the devil is defeated and we just rest in the victory of your name, yes, the Lord. victory that we have in you. Mm. And so, Lord, we give you praise and glory. We exalt you above every issue. We exalt your name above every trial and tribulation. We exalt you above every lie of the enemy today and acknowledge that you are the way, the truth, and the life, and that we will know you and that we will walk in freedom. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Man, amen. I'm ready to preach and go. And <laughs> hope you guys have enjoyed this little bit of time we had today. We're going to do it again next week, so be sure to tune in. Help spread the word. God is on the move, and you're part of his army. So we'll see you next time. If you would like to hear other Going Deeper topics from Ben Cerullo or would like to know more about The Awakening, visit us at myawakening.com.